all right guys we are back with another video we are going to be ranking all of the freaking spider-man and miles morales suits and we are going to be putting them from stinker to top tier thank you to whoever made this list i'm pretty sure it's all of the freaking spider-man miles morales and spider-man ps4 suits even the ones i got added on later so let's go ahead and let's get into it we're going to be starting from stinker all the way up to top tier you know i don't think there's a lot of stinkers but I think the most disappointing suit was the, and I'm pretty sure this is the one, was the 100% uh, suit. Which it's rather this guy right here, which is the, of course the, the undie suit. Which I think it's a hilarious suit. Should have been some type of unlockable for something else though. Definitely not 100%. Or it was this fucking suit, which I think it was just his college suit. Which is just goofy as shit. So one of those two was 100% suit, I'm not 100% sure too lazy to look it up too so i'm not gonna go look that shit up but those two one of those two was 100 percent suit that's just a horrible idea to do like they just should have gave us something like that's like reserved for like the symbiote suit or some shit for like the rainy suit not the goddamn undie suit bro come on now in the mad category there's gonna be a few man mans you know what i'm talking about i really don't want to put the college suits and the clothes suits in the stinker category because i use those a lot this one right here, I use a lot. This guy right here, I use a lot. This one right here, technically, technically it's just clothes. It's just a scarf on top of the fucking... The, the, it's a scarf and a hat with some earmuffs on top of the regular skin that you got from Miles. And honestly, I'm low-key ranking these in, like, the way I use them, too. Like, how much I actually use these. Like, I only use that one for Christmas. I rarely ever use that bad boy right there. <laughs> That is definitely a garbage suit. Never. This one right here? Actually? Stinker. That one is fucking horrible. What What even is the name of that? That one's a strike one. I'm sorry, Miles. I never use that one. That one's garbage. Hey, UK. Sorry, buddy. You're in the stinker one, too. Never use it. Literally just a fucking square on his body. I mean, I, I if you're from the UK, you probably use it. But I don't use that shit for shit, so sorry. I'm making some controversial takes right now. I really hope people don't fucking hate me. But it's so hard. There's so many, like, like mid-suits. And I feel like they did that on purpose. So they can, like, in the second game, make everything they did just so much fucking better. I think this suit's alright. I think that's the first suit that I'll put in alright. A lot of people might hate me. But I've used that suit for, for quite a while. I'm not gonna lie. For, like, at least, like, an hour. It's just the black and gold suit. Eh. I think the black and gold suit's pretty cool. I can't even lie. Man, I completely forgot about the- Is that the Fear Itself suit? Is that what I think it is? Stinker! Fucking- Hey, no, 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 no. Bottom of the tier stinker, too. Get that blue shit out of here, bro. What the hell is that? I'm sorry if you like that suit. I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. That's a bad, bad suit. Damn! I forgot about it. I forgot about it. This one's in the meh category, too. This one right there. I, I didn't mean to see it until now. But that's got to be in the meta category. I think it's a cool suit. And honestly, it's a bit of a reference to like the Into the Spider-Verse suit. Um, but I'm not going to lie. I wish we had that suit over that one right there. So I, it's got to go in the meta category. I never even touched that one. It's literally used for the first mission of the game. After that, it's this fucking thing right here. And God damn it. I... I I think this one's going into all right. I think that's a, a reference to the ultimate comic suit. Honestly, I kind of like it. I've used that one a lot, and uh, it's not the worst suit ever. It's literally just like a tiny Spider-Man. I like that. It looks like a, a very young Spider-Man, and that's exactly what they're going for. So I really like that look, and personally, I use that one a lot. So it's not a terrible one, that's for sure. That one is really, really cool. The homemade suits, both the homemade suits are going in the mad category. I think there's actually three homemade suits. Sorry guys, I think, honestly, if I'm gonna be nice, if I'm gonna be lenient here, the wrestling suit, wherever the fuck that one is. Oh fuck, I found it. Oh god. I thought I was like having a stroke. Bottom left, oh god. It's in the meh. Or actually, this bad boy, it's in the already. I actually like that suit. I actually, I actually have used that suit quite often, so it's not a bad suit. Classic damage, it's in the meh. Actually, no, 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 okay. I'll be nice, it's in the meh. I can't be mean to it. It, it. There's a lot of med suits. I told you. There's so many med suits in this goddamn game. I was wrong. That's the that's the Mark One. That's the Mark One suit. But I still think it's in an all right. 
Same thing with the black and gold suit. They're both in the all right. Electrically insulated suit. Mm -mm. You're in the fucking sinker category, buddy. Sorry, gotta say it. I know there's another one too that's in the sinker. A lot of these actually, oh, there it is. Oh man, a lot of people. Secret Wars, sorry. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I actually use the suit a lot. It, it, I've used it quite often and I like the blue on it. I think the blue is quite literally one of the best parts of the suit. Besides that though, the suit's meh. Suits in the meh category. And being nice, I'm not gonna put in a stinker. But it is meh. Same thing with this fucking god awful. Alright, this one's actually pretty cool. Is this a resilient suit? Wait, wait, wait. Is this a resilient suit or is it the velocity suit? If it's a resilient suit, it might be a little bit lower. If it's a velocity suit, I'm keeping it right where it's at. I really can't see. My brain is really, really not here. I don't know what this suit is. It doesn't look rec recognizable, but I'm putting it in the meh just because, again, it doesn't look recognized. Looks exactly like this suit right here, which I actually like, and this suit right here, which I actually like. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I'm putting these two in the good category. I like, I like both of these ones personally. I think that those ones are badass. I definitely use this red one a lot. Um, I forgot what it's called, but that one is definitely a really, really cool one. So that one goes in a good category. I think we're starting to go up a little bit more in categories here. This one is alright. The vintage one's okay. We can't really say much about it. Same thing with the cyborg one. A lot of the armor ones too are okay. Oh my god, here's the resilient one. <clears throat> There's a resilient one. I found it. See, that's exactly my thoughts about the resilient suit. Goes in a fucking stinker category just like that goddamn burp. See ya, buddy. This suit's definitely good. That's for sure. This suit, it's alright. It's a classic suit. You know, that's actually what I think for a lot of these classic. This one's oak. This one's pretty good. I like that black suit. I think that's the only like black and red suit that we have in the game, right? And for for the first game, technically. So that one from uh, what is it? Uh, Far from home. That one's pretty good. I really do like that black suit. This uh, this stealth suit's probably in the all right section. That's for sure. Big time in the all right section. I'll put that somewhere in there as well. That's pretty good. I do like this suit as well. I forgot where, what, what, what one is that one? No Way Home? Yeah, that one's pretty good. I can't lie. Spider Clan. A lot of people are going to hate me for this one. It's going into man category. I never really used that one. I really wish that they rather use particular Spider-Man. Again, like I'm telling you, most of their skins that they use in this game were in the very, at least most mid category. They weren't really going for the high tier suits. And I think that they're saving them for the next one. I really, really think they're just having the high profile, like most love suits for the next game. And I really can't wait to see it. Um, another good suit. I like the last stand suit. Honestly, I'm debating putting in an amazing because I really played with that suit a lot. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Future foundations are right. Not the best suit ever. That's for sure. This Mr. Negative suit, I think in the terms of the game, the way they did it, really, really cool. The way it glows, it's awesome. My only problem is that they had a missed opportunity where they could have used this in a story where Peter gets, like, you know, possessed or something or is about to get possessed in that little fucking uh, negative world. And that is a suit that he uses in the negative world. But they completely missed that freaking possibility or that chance. So this will go into all right. It would have gone to good if they did that. If that was in the story, if that was used for a story, would have been in the good. I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to put it in the mad category. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you know what? I'm putting it in the mad category. I gotta put it in the meh category. All these are, don't think of them as high meh or low meh. They're all the same meh. You know what I mean? So don't think about them as like one or the other. They're all the same in my brain. This suit right here, is this the, the one that you get when you get all the fucking stupid ass underground shit? Yeah, that one's a meh suit. I don't really use that one too often. I'm not gonna lie. Where'd he go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that one, that one's cool. I like the way it glows. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, it might be in the all right. But it's, it's almost in the same vein as that one there. It's just a villain suit, really. Those villain suits are really, really cool. The Prowler one, again, goes right there. I actually do like the Sp Spider-Punk one. It's not really Spider-Punk, but it's really... That one is really, really cool. I do like this one. It's all right. It's a really all right suit. We're getting, we're getting to the bottom now. We're getting to the bottom tier now. The ones that I really... That I picked first are, like, the bottom tier. So, like, I'm looking at it. That Prowler suit... In the context of Across the Spider-Verse, it might actually go up in the alright one. You know, I actually might want to use that a little bit more now that I'm thinking about it. That's a really cool suit. Um, 
if I'm thinking about the first amazing suit, if I'm going to throw the first amazing suit out there just right now, Bodega Cat. Love it. Oh my god. I love fucking running around, beating people up with the cat. It's so fucking good. It's literally perfection. The, the Noir suit, I like. I think that's a pretty good suit in the game. Nothing really, no flaws about that in my opinion. The dark suit's okay. It's alright. Man, nothing really special. Same thing with this one. I think those two could have been a lot better in many ways, but the, the, the ones that they give us in the game were really good. They could have given us a hood for that one. Could have made a little bit, you know, different changes to different things, but I think overall that was it. That was a fine choice, and, and it was alright. Those two were alright. Scarlet Spider 2 is definitely in the amazing. That's 100% sure. Like, no doubt about it. That's way better than the Scarlet Suit that they gave us. Like, the DLC one that they gave us, a lot better than the one they gave us in the game. I can't even lie. Uh, this fucking thing is uh, all the way in the mid. <laughs> I hate the Iron Spider suit in the comics. I can't even lie. Get the fuck down there. Please. Spider Punk right now is super overhyped. I'm not going to lie. Like, really, really cool character in the movie. But, um, he's in a good category. I, I've been using him recently, but in the game, he's not that cool. I hope they, I hope they give us a string of amazing, or I'm sorry, across the Spider-Verse, like, versions of different suits. So they have us, like, have, of course, the 24 frames per second, or even the Spider-Man or spider punk's case he's like keyed in at different frames it's so complicated that i don't know if they could actually do that but that would be really cool if they could do that in the next game let's see the iron spider suit this guy right behind the other iron spider suit i don't like the iron spider suit they're fucking garbage ass suits that don't belong i mean they're cool but they're fucking like get the fuck out of my game i'm not gonna play as them at all especially the ones in the game too like personally the red one looks weird with the padding like i don't know what they were really thinking with the padding and the, and the armor and whatnot but pff, hate it this is pretty cool i think that it's gonna look better in the the next game the the 299 suit can't even lie i think that that will look a lot better in the next game just for the simple fact that you're gonna be able to glide around it oh man i really hope they use the across the spider verse design and they also give us all the other designs that they gave us for the last game too because or maybe even they updated it as well oh they said it was like built from the ground up, so maybe they are giving us updated versions of the suits we got from the first game. So that'd be amazing to see that one. I like the suit kind of, but in my opinion, the armored suits they're they're kind of overplayed in many many regards. I'm putting this goddamn thing right next to that. Yeah, I mean I gotta put it in a mess suit. I mean uh, I'll be all right. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. I'll be I'll put I'll put it in the all right suit. All right, I'll put it in the all right category. The track suit right here, this bad boy going into meh. Our, a lot of people might hate me, but yeah, it's going into mad category. We, we're going to go up to the amazing right now. I think a lot of the rest of the suits right now are pretty, pretty amazing. I think we got down to the bottom of the, the best suits that we got. The Uptown Pride suit, 100% the amazing. That one's just good. The, the, the gold, the freaking black and the gold. Oh, it's so good. There's no going wrong with that suit. There's no looking wrong with that suit either. Like, no matter where you go, no matter what lighting you use, that's just a really good looking suit. I would say even the, the amazing, or I'm sorry, the advanced suit right here. Definitely in the amazing category. I want to put it in the top tier because I would say the the, the, the next suit that they gave us, the, the Marvel Spider-Man 2 suit, is a lot better than what they gave us in, of course, the, uh, the game uh, in the first game. So, that one, it's okay. It's amazing. That's for sure. But I wouldn't say that it's um, top tier right now. This is a tough choice. This guy right here is going all the way down here in the mag category. I, I never used that one. I I, I mean, mm, did I already put the anti-ox suit somewhere? Did they even have the anti? They do right there. I would have to put this right there in the, the all right. Because the anti-ox suit, in my opinion, the anti-ox suit, it goes in the mag category. It's just a reskin version of the, of course, the advanced suit. And it's cool, but I think that that suit right here... This one, the advanced tactical suit or whatever it is, that one would have been a better suit for the anti-ox suit than, than the anti-ox suit. So, that one's cool. I think that this one's pretty cool, the, the armored one, the bulletproof one. That one's alright. That one's not a bad one whatsoever. I like the helmet. I like the, 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 the mask for it. And, of course, just the overall design. It's a pretty slick suit. Classic suit. It's up there and amazing. I would say it's around there. The, ma the, the classic suit's really, really good. I think the way they did it was just perfect. I mean, there's there's no going wrong with the classic suit, honestly. Like, they, the way they 
they presented in this game was just phenomenal. It's the first suit you get in the game, so I think that's a really, really good suit. Man, I'm kind of just going off this off the jump. A lot of the Miles suits are really cool. What's this bad boy? I don't, I don't think I really care about this suit that much. This one's in the mad category, the animated one. Never really stuck out to me that much. Because you have the, the fucking... You have the... <laughs> God damn, dude, you have to end the Spider-Verse suit. That gives you the 24 frames per second, too. That one's really, really cool. The fact that you can actually put on the 24 frames per second and look like you're gliding around as the Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man, oh, <laughs> top tier. Literally, per I've used that so many times. It's just so good. It actually confused me the first time. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm gliding around with these other suits like with 24 frames per second because I don't know how to turn it off. But... <laughs> It was really, really fun. I, I think that that's a top-tier suit, 100%. Same thing, of course, with the, the Into the Spider-Verse one as well for the Peter one that we get in the first game. The only problem with that one, honestly, I have to I have to pull it back because we don't get the 24 fr frames per second for that one. We don't get the same exact treatment as we get for, for Miles as that one. I think they did. I wish they did that in a remaster. I don't think they do. But if they did, that would have been perfect in... Honestly, I kind of wish that that's something that they included, but that that's an amazing one. That's definitely one that I've used before. I, the proportions are funny as shit. It looks really goofy. I'm not going to lie. Here's another armor one I don't give a fuck about. You're going in there, buddy. Sorry. The, the Raimi one, top tier. I think it's super accurate. Really amazing. Same thing with this bad boy right there. The Amazing Spider-Man and the, the Raimi one are just chef's kiffs. Fucking perfection. You can't go any wrong with that one. I'm not going to lie. Ooh... Which one's that one? Is that the fucking Miles suit that, that's like the, the weird armored one? That one's like a mess suit, honestly. I left that one weirdly in the fucking bottom few, but that one's just like in the mess. Get that shit out of here. I, I never really use that one too much because you got the fucking classic one right here. The classic one's really good. Like, it's so perfect. What can you go wrong with it? I would say it's amazing. It's not the top tier. Those ones are just specifically really... It's funny how I put the movie suits up there, but they those ones, the top tier ones are really perfect. These ones are amazing. I don't think that they're too perfect, in my opinion. They're they're really, really great, but those ones are, are just amazing. This 1999 one with the white suit, it has to be kind of put in the same vein. It's all right. It's not bad. So overall, I think that all of those suits are just phenomenal like those top three right there i think I, I i have a good case for putting those in where they are and i think everything else is kind of appropriately where they're at like you can make a case for which one's your favorite and which one you like a lot a lot of people are gonna hate me for putting like this bad armor <laughs> this bad armor one and the spider clan one and all the other armor ones all in the fucking meh category sorry I, I just don't like a lot of those suits. And again, a lot of the ones that they even gave us in the game were meh anyway. So I, I think that they could have given us a lot better suits anyway. I, I really can't wait to see what they give us in the next game because I think they're going to be spot on and just perfection. And I want to know what you guys say in the comments below about my tier list. Go ahead and comment below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.